thank you so much for joining. Today we're going to be talking about Screencastify. How you can use it for Screencastify is a great screen recording tool that lives in your Chrome browser that we're going to explore. And it's perfect for us for these digital learning days right now to be able to pre-record quick instructions to give student feedback and even have your students record if you want them to. And it saves directly into your Google Drive. So it's a real easy to use tool. There's a free version, and right now Screencastify is offering their premium version for free through April 30th in, with all of this going on with the COVID-19 and the distance learning. I'm going to click through and show some things. If you have any questions, very, very informal. Throw a question in the chat. I'm looking at that. You can unmute yourself. Please ask any questions you might have, and we're going to dive in and look at Screencastify. Just curious if you've heard of Screencastify before. If you have, give me a thumbs up or a yes in the chat. If not, so in order to get Screencastify, and I'm going to drop this address in your chat window here. I'm going to add it to my chat. So you have the link. I've heard of it. Fantastic. And I'm going to put the link in here. If you have not already installed it, you can grab that right there. So I've already got it installed. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to open up another one of my windows. So I added it to Chrome. So walking you through the process of adding it to Chrome. So it's installed. We'll do that. Here's the important thing. Right now you have the freemium version. What we want to do is we want to go in and I want to show that there's a couple of options. Under For School, there are two courses that Screencastify offers. I participated in both and they're fantastic. First is the Master Screencast right here. This is a 60-minute self-paced course that walks you through. I'm going to do the nuts and bolts really quick today, but it walks you through ways you can use it with your um, students to enhance and engage your learners. So there's a 60 minute course here. They also have an, another one that is 45 minutes and that's with Alice Keeler and that is all about how to use Screencastify with Google Classroom. So all the Google apps and things like that. So that's 45 minutes. Both of those are self-paced. They're great courses. I've done both of them, two little badges if you complete those courses. So that's available under four school. So what we wanna do here is I'm gonna click on my account, which is up here. So once you've installed it, it lives in Chrome. And so any browser that you open up, you can access it. So if I open up a new tab, I'm going to go to my Tech Tips 411 site. If I go up here, you notice I've got this right here. So I'm going to click and notice it's going to ask me about a few things. Right now, because I'm in the freemium version, you have the five minute limit per video. But what we want to do is upgrade it. We're going to do that in just a second. Screencast our browser tab, our whole desktop, which means any app that you open if you go back and forth through applications, or if you want your webcam, which means you're just going to record yourself giving some instructions to students. As you can see, my microphone is on. I can embed my webcam. I can choose which webcam I'm using. So when I do that, now I'm going to get um, my camera turned on. I've got a couple other options here. I can turn on a countdown. This is important, like if you want to get yourself ready, and if you're going to be on camera, and whether or not you want to show the drawing tools. But right here, let's go ahead and upgrade it so we can take advantage of getting those full features. So we're going to click Upgrade. So right now, it's free forever, but right now we're going to upload, uh, go to the Unlimited, which is $49 per person. We're going to say Get Started. We're not going to pay any money. Screencastify opened this up as soon as all the schools were out for COVID-19 and our distance learning days. So it's going to come up here and what we're going to do is we're going to redeem our coupon and that is cast and I'm going to type this on here. I'll put it in the window as well. Cast underscore COVID is our code. So now when I click OK, what's going to happen is it's going to go. Oh, look at that. My coupon. I just say $49. I'm going to activate my license. Now, as of right now, they said it's available till April 30th. They might extend that seeing that we might be out longer than that. So now there is a user guide here, which is a great resource for you to go back to um, that has how to record and how to set up. But I'm going to walk you through those things right now. So if I go back here and I click on the icon, it's reloaded. Notice I don't have that upgrade option anymore because I now have the full version. The advantage of that is I don't have a five minute limit. Now let's be honest, unless you're screen recording an entire lesson, you might not really want to do more than five minutes anyway, because let's think about our students, their attention span and their focus. You might want to do like quick little snippets of what you're talking about, but it does come in handy if you are wanting to record an entire lecture. So when I'm ready to record, I'm going to click here that I want to record and it's embedding my, you're seeing behind the, the scenes here. Here's my green screen and I'm going to pick, do I want my whole screen? Uh, screen one, if I just application window. So we're going to say entire screen. And we're going to click share. And there goes that countdown. Just that easy. Now I'm already recording. So I'm talking about how we can use Screencastify to engage our learners. So I can easily, what's great is now that I'm recording and I'm 
clicking on things. When I click on something, you'll notice what it does is it gives me that highlight around the mouse, which helps for students to pay attention if you're clicking through resources and you want them to follow along. Okay. So I can go back up here and pause. So if I click on this, I want to pause and I gather my thoughts and realize I want to add anything else that I'm talking about. I notice I have embedded my webcam here. I think that's a great option if you want it to be more personal. If you don't because you're screen recording a document or a presentation, you might not want to embed that cam. All right. So also if I want to continue, so I'm going to continue again. Notice that I have these tools down here. So I can move my, I'm going to move my little camera here. I've got annotation tools so that I can highlight and point out things like I told you that Genius with Alice Keeler is a fantastic course. But you might want to start off if you're brand new to screencast. Let's start off with the master screencast right there. So I can go back to pausing my recording, gathering my thoughts if I need to. Um, I'm on pause. I can also use an eraser if I didn't like what I wanted, what I've recorded there. I've got my embedded cam. Look, if I wanted to get away or bring it back as I'm talking, I can do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and do one more piece right here. And I'm going to say, so as I said, I can have my webcam in or I can disappear if I want to. So now when I'm done, I'm going to hit stop. And already it's going to say, oh, fantastic. Let's bring this in. Notice up here it's saving this. It automatically saves because when you signed up, you signed up using your Google account to ensure that that's how you link and save everything. So it's automatically saving in my Google Drive, which to me is magic. But the other piece right here it, that it's showing you is that I have, right? So now I'm into my video here. I can go back in. I can trim the beginning. I can trim the end if I want to or I can go in advanced editor. So we're gonna look at that in a second. So I'm gonna pause here. But on the right, I can copy this shareable link. Already, no work on me, copy that link and I can share it out. So if I've done this for staff meeting or instructions for students or instructions for the teachers you're supporting, easily copy that link, post that link in an email, send it out. More importantly though, our teachers are doing distance learning. What they really need is they need that ability to share to classroom. So if I click that share to class option, Notice it's going to bring up my share to classroom dialog box. I'm in on my tech tip side, so I'm going to pull up, it's going to pull up my classes that I do outside of APS. So I can go up here and I can grab any one of these classes. So I, maybe I want to put it in my GHEC classroom, choose my action. I can make this be an announcement. So this could be a really quick video announcement. So you're connecting with your students. I can make this be part of an assignment so I can create an assignment or I'm asking a question. So it could be a verbal question they need to respond to or it's just a reference piece. So I'm gonna say that this is creating an assignment and I'm gonna click go. Now we all know we usually teach more than one class. By default, it picks that first class. But if I hit that magical drop down uh, triangle, I can tag this to multiple classes at one time. So when I do that, that means I can send this out, my instructions, I've done it one time, recorded it, push it out. I've spent two minutes. It's a lot easier to do voice instructions like this, students, than typing a lot of instructions they might not understand. And that's very easy for me to push out to um, Google Classroom. Is that like easy peasy, thumbs up, amazing, right? So the other thing is, maybe you want this to go to your YouTube channel and not direct directly to your Google Classroom. So it has the option to publish it to YouTube. So that means you might have a playlist that you've created on YouTube for all of your instructions for your students. That way it's public facing because if it goes into Google Classroom, parents aren't going to see it. But maybe you're doing announcements or information that you want to walk through with your students or parents or any stakeholders or staff and you can publish it to YouTube. The other option here is I can embed it right here. If you've got a website, it gives you an embed code. There are an option to, this is pretty cool, send it via email if you want to connect to your Gmail account. Um, if you're using Outlook, just copy that share link at the top. And you can also generate a QR code that works for your video, which is really cool. So when we get back from school and you want to pre-record some stuff, you can have stuff that you can post that QR code. And when people scan it, that video launches, which to me, I think is fantastic. So those are all the ways that I can get to my video. Now, we've got the option here. I can go up here and I'm going to rename this. This is my screen. Justify demo, renamed it and move my, my, and so my camera here. I, I can just trim the front and the back, but maybe in the middle, I flubbed on something. I can go here and I can open up in the edit. It's logging me in. This is their new editor tool, which is pretty cool, but it's web-based. 
So it's going to load up my options. Let's see here what we get. The nice thing is, is that I can merge. So if I've got two little clips I want to put together or I want to cut, crop or trim anything, I've got access to do that. So now that you've got your full version of Screencastify, you have the ability to do this. Okay, they do have some tutorials if you want to check it out. So notice it has my video in here and I can scrub through and pick where I might want to cut it. And maybe I want to drag in and I don't want to show that part right here because I flubbed or I, I do a lot. Of, I realize when I'm recording all these videos and I'm editing them that I say a lot of uhs, okays, and all right. <laughs> I want to delete something out like that or I've just said the wrong thing or I might want to rearrange the order of things and put this in the front because I meant, I meant to say step one and step two and I wanted to reorganize it. So I can do that right there. So that's the editor option. Question so far, how are we feeling? It is super easy. Notice I can go in, I can check my readings. I can go in and do projects as I'm editing this. Question so far. I know that was like super quick. I'm gonna go back to my home page. And so advantage of doing these recordings with Screencastify, it allows me to do short, quick bits. But since it's automatically saved in my my Google Drive, it does not matter what device I'm on. I can be on any any device and then easily share that link. So again, I can go back here. If I want to do my browser tab, I can do that. If I don't want to have that embedded, pretty cool options. I can go up here to my settings. Right now, it's telling me my tab size, my frame rate of that. If I want to, you know, dive a little deeper into my options. If I go here, this your subscriptions. I can go back to my classroom resources, some, some help and any options that I want to go in and change. So I can choose right now. It's going directly to your Google Drive, but maybe you want it to save locally because you're going to bring these video clips into another video editor, you could do that as well. Now, obviously you can change any of these settings, open a video page after recording, all of that kind of stuff is available here in Screencastify. I think that this is a great tool because I have a lot of my teachers that they're going live for sessions, but sometimes they want to pre-record instructions. And this comes in really handy for our diverse learners that they might need to be able to pause and rewind and watch the instructions again. Any questions? I know I went kind of super quick there, but hopefully, are you thinking about ways you can use this with your students, with your teachers to support their learning? And again, they have a fantastic user guide resources here, how to get started recording your desktop, how to export all of that is available. You can set up your webcam microphone. It's very easy. Notice when you do it the first time, it is going to populate and say, authorize your mic and your camera in the web browser. Tell your teachers to do that. No, it's great because Screencastify is free. If it's open on your Google district and your students are able to add it, or it might already be there, they can also screen record and do this as well. So they can screen record in five minutes for the free version to show their learning because they can turn on the webcam, they can talk, they can annotate and talk over their um, work assignment is. It's a great tool for you to get that feedback from students. The other thing is that they can use the annotation tools and record and then they could export it and upload it to Flipgrid if you wanted them to do that as well. So many possibilities. Looking at here, it says, I've used it before, but did not know about the self-paced courses. There you go. Great. So I would recommend that to share with your teachers so they can take a look at it, especially since we're at home doing a lot of digital learning. We can, they can explore and take a look at that. So self-paced courses, that's available under educator for schools. The overview, there's the courses right there and they've got a resources page as well. That is code that I shared with you, please share it with your teachers. It was shared via social media. So it's not a top secret code that I have. So you can share it with your teachers so they can get the full version right now, which would be fantastic. So any other questions, thoughts, comments, and I appreciate you hanging in with me. So uh, I just, that was a kind of a quick uh, over overview of how to use Screencastify, how to start your account, uh, access the premium services right now while we have access to it during digital learning days and to use it with your students by sharing links or directly to Google Classroom or um, to YouTube. If you have any questions, let me know.